Despite Netflix being noted for its critically acclaimed series, 13 Reasons Why is the first to get a massive flag of controversy. What are some of the reasons behind this from yours and others' perspectives? Well, Beck, the show has not only gained controversy for its subjects, such as suicide, uh, sexual violence, and more, but also its portrayal of those. I'm outside of the Woodside High School guidance office, where I interviewed two people who work there, Katrina Rubenstein and uh, Vanessa Colleen. And Katrina Rubenstein, uh, she said to me how her uh, the aspect of the show she liked the least was how it made it seem like you couldn't get any help, and how uh, everybody in the show kind of it was put on their fault for the suicide, even though they might have had they might have tried to help or they didn't necessarily correlate to it. Um, I agreed with some of these concerns, um, although some of my uh, issues with the show also uh, came in the, the show's pacing, which kind of just moved every important aspect of the plot into the last 10 minutes of an episode, and also the structure uh, and the acting. Um, as for uh, Vanessa Colleen, she hadn't seen all the show, but she did comment on how um, the other counselors in the school were upset by the portrayal of uh, the guidance office. Um, that's the extent for why 13 Reasons Why has had so much recent commotion. And uh, yeah, for What's That World, it's me, Zach Cage.